Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I've been seeing an awful lot with um, nail art foils. This is something I did a couple of years back, but I'm going to revisit it. So I've got this sheet of Viva Las Vegas stamps, and I'm going to use this What's Up. What's up? Alright. I can get myself together. Maybe. Alright, I've just got a bit of black Primo clay that I rolled out. It's rolled out on about a four on my pasta machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the was up now these stamps were a gift from a dear subby and they've all got velcro on the back so I can't mount them on a stamping block but I got a good impression just using my fingers alright so I'm wanting to do a sort of red, white, and blue. So I bought these nail art foils, like I said, a few years ago. And I got a big bag of all different colors and patterns. Alright, so I just want to measure out a bit of each one of them red, silver, and blue now the only thing with the nail art foils is some of them do work better than others. I really like this one. It's got stars all over it. The red one's got little mini circles. And this blue one just has flecks of color. Ah. I can get everything out of my way. I'm going to start with the red. Alright, you just at first want to get it to make contact with the clay and stick. Then, using something like a pencil eraser. You can use a burnishing tool, a popsicle stick. You can use just about anything. The point you're trying to achieve is to create friction. I should have said you want to stick it down with the frosted side towards the clay it may seem contrary but the top sheet as you can see is just a plastic film that you're going to rip away all right when you think you've furnished it enough Go a little longer. <laughs> I 
Alright. Then in one quick motion, I'm going to pull it away. Almost jerk it off. As you can see, it's stuck nicely. Got a clean foiled image. Alright, then the silver is next. Alright, I want to lay it down where the excess is over the red. It won't stick to the red because it's already got foil on it. Once again, just burnish it down. promise before I do the next video I'll clean my desk <laughs> it really becomes a mess really quickly all right once again once you've done it as long as you think you should go a little longer <laughs> actually bled over on the red just a bit which is a surprise to me now if I can find what it did with the blue there it is I'll come back in another video and show you how you can actually use these in resin. Alright. Alright, here it is after baking. And admittedly, the red... Um, kind of disappeared in the oven so I've gone back with some alcohol ink over that part you can still see the stars in the silver and a little bit of the flake in the blue but the little circles in the red almost completely disappeared which is a bit dis disappointing um, I did go over the lettering with some black acrylic paint to bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna, in the next video or two, I'm gonna put a coat of resin on this one and another piece that I just did. Using this, um, texture sheet that I just made with some amazing mold putty and this is off of a 4x4 four four, um, piece of lumber that's on our front porch I really love the texture on the end grain it's really neat alright so that is going to be a fun piece to use so I'll be back in the next like I said video or two and put some resin on a couple of these so that's all for now Thanks for watching. Bye now.